ChatGPT is making it harder to break into AI and ML. We don't need to code anymore. Quick pause here, guys. That's not a salary range. That's Netflix testing if you're binge worthy or just worth the lunch money. If you have a data set, you can ask ChatGPT to write the code to train your ML models. You can even ask it to tweak things for you to test different parameters. Why are we even learning anything anymore? There are people who will say you don't need to know the fundamentals of machine learning to use it. You don't need to know the math behind these models to use it. Well, it's reached a point where you don't even need to know how to code anymore. LLMs like ChatGPT and Claude can do all of this for you. It can code, it can follow the best practices of training machine learning models, production level models. It can clean your data and perform exploratory analysis for you, which is why so many people are embracing LLMs and using it to increase their productivity. This might be controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. You still need to know the fundamentals of ML you still need to know how to code. And yes, you still need to know the math behind AI and ML. As good as these LLMs are, they cannot do your job without you for now. The problem companies are facing is not finding people who can train machine learning models. As I said, there are too many people who can do that. And with LLMs, you really don't need that many people to train machine learning models. Companies want people who can find new and creative ways to apply deep learning and machine learning to solve complex problems. They need a new product. A lot of companies may not even know yet that they need new applications with AI. But when you look at a lot of these job descriptions on LinkedIn, this is what they imply. Take a look at some of these job descriptions. It's almost like they don't even know what they're asking for and they don't even know what they want from a candidate. Take a look at this description, for example, build and scale distributed training systems for large scale model training across LLMs, vision and robotic. Which one is it? Is it LLMs, vision or robotics? And then they're also asking for three to 15 years in ML infrastructure systems and research engineering roles. That's a really broad experience. Take a look at this role from Uber for a senior machine learning engineer. Own the entire life cycle of ML solutions from understanding ambiguous business challenges to deploying and maintaining high impact models in production. Translate complex business problems into clear ML optimization formulae. Innovate and apply advanced ML and optimization techniques to solve real world problems that directly improve Uber's marketplace efficiency. And I think this statement clearly says that Uber themselves don't know what problem they're tackling. They want you to come and figure it out. Job descriptions like this helps no one. I think, and this is my opinion, that these job descriptions are only there to scan applicants, their experience, and what other people are actually working on so that they can try and leverage that and use that to create something new of their own for their own company. It's like testing the water to see what's out there and what's available, what can be done and so on. So if you want to apply AI for a new idea or a new product, you really need to know what it is. You need to have a deep understanding of the fundamentals and you need to know how it works. You might say, oh, we can ask ChatGPT to help us get new ideas. Unfortunately, oh, scratch that. Fortunately, they are still not good enough to generate quality ideas. Some of the ideas that you get from ChatGPT are either obsolete, or in other words, somebody else has already done this, or the ideas are completely unfeasible. These LLMs are still not good enough to understand the feasibility of the idea it generates. I'm not talking about some simple ideas here. I'm talking about some complex problems, ideas to solve complex problems in the field of science and technology in general. I'm not talking about ideas for the next marketing campaign or a new product design whatever that may be. I'm talking about breakthrough science and technology. This is where LLMs like ChatGPT or Claude or whatever, they're not good enough yet, mainly because they cannot comprehend the challenges that we, like me and you face, mainly because it cannot understand the complex nature of bringing an idea to fruition 
in terms of the budget, in terms of safety challenges, and so on. Recently, a research study came out, and I'll put it up on the screen right now, that shows people who use ChatGPT and LLMs use less brain power than people who don't. The reason this is concerning is and it is concerning because our brain is the actual intelligence. These models are not as intelligent as our brains. What I'm trying to say is don't put off the sun to light a candle. The irony is I use ChatGPT to come up with that metaphor. Anyway, the case I'm trying to make here is this. At this point in time, we need new ideas to solve complex problems. To do that, we need to know the basics and understand how everything works. So continue to learn the fundamentals of AI and machine learning. Continue to learn how to code. Continue to learn the math behind these models and algorithms. And while you're doing that, constantly keep thinking about how you can apply what you have learned to solve some of the complex problems in your domain or a complex problem that you see out there in the world. Definitely use the LLMs like ChatGPT to learn something because it saves you a ton of time. Just don't skip the hard part. Now, what if these GPTs get better at generating good ideas and solving complex problems? Get ready to become a caveman and let me know where you are and I will join you. So until then, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Take care.